has caused a lot of problems in his life. And this is what happened. I spent a year auditioning to be Howard Stern's sidekick. And during that year, I just started doing celebrity voices. I just came with a lot of different voices, and, I, and my idea was, let me just sprinkle the background with celebrities just talking. And then, uh, during the commercial breaks, I would do an impression of Gene for everyone on the show, just to entertain them. I would tell them stories like, hey, did you, did you see the, uh, uh, the interview with Gene? Said, no, and I would tell them about it, and they'd be like, Gene said that? And I go, yeah, it's hilarious. And then uh, we try to think, like, how can I use this on the air? And I came up with an idea. How about every time we have a musical guest in the studio, I will continually interrupt them as Gene Simmons and just start selling Kiss products right in the middle of the air. <laughs> And I would do that to every musical guest. We had Paul McCartney in the studio. And I'm sitting in the background, and he has no idea who I am. And they go, uh, Paul, they have him talk about his new album. And in the middle of Paul McCartney's interview, I go, <clears throat> That sounds great, but let me interrupt you for one second. By the way, this is Gene Simmons from KISS. And if you go to KISSonline.com right now, you will see how the Beatles have stolen everything from KISS. And Paul McCartney's staring at me like, who the fuck are you? <laughs> well, I'll tell you who I am. I'm going to give you a perfect example, Paul. Name how many members were in the Beatles. Tell me. Four, right? How many members were in KISS? Four. Thank you. Go to KISSonline.com. <laughs> it didn't make any sense at all. And I would come up with pride. And then Paul McCartney would continue talking and say, well, you know, they're putting out a, a box set of the... Uh, Beatles retrospective. That's great. You know, Kiss just came out <laughs> with a new Kiss chili recipe. And Paul's like, the what? Kiss, can you just be quiet, Paul? Kiss chili recipe at kissonline.com. Now, Paul, you might be asking yourself, what's the difference between regular chili and Kiss chili, right? Well, first of all, you're going to pay 50 bucks for Kiss chili. <laughs> That's number one. And number two, imagine 20 minutes after you eat Kiss Chili, you hear from your stomach, you actually hear, you wanted the best, you got the best, the hottest chili in the world. And from out of your ass comes the biggest flame, Kiss! <laughs> Kiss Chili. KissOnline.com. And so, here's the weird thing. Gene starts getting hate mail from people going, and people would see Gene in the street and go, Gene, why are you such a fucking asshole to Paul McCartney? Like, what? what I, did I say something to Paul McCartney? Yes, you tried to sell your new Kiss Chili recipe. Kiss Chili, it's a great idea. <laughs> and so he would get hate mail about it, and then one day, uh, we start getting phone calls from Kiss. They actually started calling the Howard Stern Show. And Gary Delabate, the producer of our show, would come and go, Hey guys, you're not going to believe this. <laughs> this, is actually, this is actually pretty funny. I, I got a letter from the official, like, an official KISS headquarters uh, letter, and apparently Gene wants to hear the tapes. He wants to hear Craig Thorne. Which, how we were tickled, like, wow, Gene and everybody knows about it. And the first word I got was a guy, um, in Philadelphia, called me up. Uh, he used to work for Kiss, and he said, "Hey, man, he goes, I love your stuff. You know, I work for Kiss, man. And, and I, I first heard about you about a year ago. Uh, Paul called me up and said, Hey, do you know about this guy? Blah blah. And I go, Right on, man. And who's Paul? And he goes, Paul Stanley. And I go, Paul Stanley knows who I am. And he goes, Paul loves when people make fun of Gene. <laughs> Are you serious? He loves it, and he loves your jokes. And I was like, No way. And then a very scary thing happened. Gary Delabate came up to the floor one day, came into the studio and said, uh, Hey guys, uh, we, we got a little bit of a problem. Uh, Gene's outside the door and he wants to talk to Craig. And I was like, <laughs> he wants to talk to me? And Howard goes, bring him in. I'm like, bring him in. Pull. Can, we, can we kind of prep? Gene got on a plane, flew to New York to confront me live on the air about my impression of him. So he walks in the studio and he goes, Who's, uh, everyone in the room, right here, he's here, <laughs> right here, I go, I got it, and then Gene walks in and goes, first of all, 
you don't sound anything like me at all, okay? <laughs> That's number one. And number two, I didn't come here to talk about people who think that they're funny. I came here to talk about something very serious and has never been done before in rock and roll. If you go to kissonline.com, I was like, is he fucking serious? And he says, you go to kissonline.com, there's something really amazing. And he started selling a kiss casket. Yeah. Like a real... And Howard goes, you're joking, right? And he goes, no, but, no, I'm not. It's a beautiful casket. $5,000, beautiful casket. <laughs> and I kept interrupting his sales pitch and going, you know what else has never been done before in rock and roll? For $1 million, I will throw Ace Freely into the casket. <laughs> and Gene kept going, I'm being serious. No, I'm being serious. Hey, fuck you. Hey, fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. And no one could tell who the real Gene Simmons was. <laughs> And uh, we walk out, and I see him outside doing an interview with our camera guy, Ganji. And Ganji goes, hey, Gene, uh, what did you think about the new guy, Craig Gass? And Gene goes, well, I, uh, and I walked out the door, and I got in front of Gene, and I said, I'll tell you what I think. <laughs> I like him, he's very funny. And Gene pulled me aside, and he said, come here. Come here. You know what you did? Took a lot of balls, and I go, are you gonna hit me? <laughs> I admire that. He walked away, I fucking lost five pounds. From that <laughs> moment. And he walks away. It happened to be the same day that I was headlining Caroline's uh, for the first time. Which for a comedian, it's a big deal. The headline Caroline's really big. I've done it a few times since. But it was a big deal. First time, I was nervous and I was scared. I get a call. I didn't recognize the number, so I let it go to voicemail. I still have the message. It's just short. Boop. Hi, Craig. This is Gene Simmons from KISS. He actually said from KISS on my answering machine. Like, I'm going to confuse you with Gene Simmons from Pet Boys. Like, I don't know who you are. <laughs> Listen, I know that today is a big deal for you because you're headlining Caroline's, and I want you to know two things. Number one, the KISS Army is behind you. <laughs> and number two, I support you, and that's why I'm going to be in the front row. You can feel free to dress up as your favorite rock star if you'd like. And he came to the show, sat in the front row. I made fun of KISS for like a half hour, and after the show, he sent someone in my dressing room. And I said, hey, uh, Gene wanted me to come back here and tell you that he would like to invite you out tonight. He's going to a strip club. He'd like to come back here. I go, yeah. and I have two friends of mine, huge Kiss fans. I go, is it cool if I bring my friends with me? They go, absolutely, bring whoever you want. We go to the strip club, thinking like, come here, you know, Gene Simmons, the strip club. All that happened at the strip club was everyone in the strip club wanted to talk to Gene. Everyone. And we sat on the other end of the couch going, And at one point, there's a stripper that's trying to hit on Gene, and Gene goes, he, he sees me looking pathetic at the end of the couch, and he goes, can I ask you a question? Let me ask you something. Do you listen to the Howard Stern Show? You do? Great. Because this gentleman right here is the gentleman who does the impression of me. Isn't that something? And the girl looked at me, and I went, What's going on? She goes, nothing. And I was like, that's about right.